I kept on flip-flopping on whether Djokovic would win the Laureus World Sportsman of the Year award, but he has, and it's great to see for a record equaling fifth time, equaling Roger Federer's record, and it's amazing, it's a great record. It's another feather in the cap of the great Novak Djokovic. A lot of congratulations are coming in and it's great to see. The Laureus Awards were held last night in Madrid and it was a glamorous night for all involved. Attendees from tennis included Carlos Alcaraz, as you can see here, very sharp, formally dressed up. Novak Djokovic and his wife Jelena Djokovic, of course, coming dressed up for the occasion, accepting the award. Nadal, who was there to collect his award on the behalf of the Rafa Nadal Academy, some sort of charity award. Good work to Nadal there. His academy just keeps growing and fulfilling the sporting wishes of children across the world. Before we get into what this award means for Novak Djokovic and where it puts him on the history of sports people to win the Laureus Award, let's have a look at this funny moment where Carlos Alcaraz forgets to hand over the Laureus Award to Jude Bellingham for the best newcomer or upcoming athlete. The winner of the Laureus Award Breakthrough of the Year Award is Jude Bellingham. <laughs> Thank you very much, everyone, and good evening. Um, yeah, thank you. I think you, you have to hold it, <laughs> He's right? kept it for another year. Uh, no, thank you, everyone, for coming, and uh, it's a pleasure to be amongst you all, and, uh, yeah, have a lovely evening. Thank you. And that was Jude Bellingham receiving the award for the best newcomer. And he's a great athlete, isn't he? He's an upcoming footballer. Not even up and coming. He's actually a favorite for the Ballon d'Or. So watch out for Jude Bellingham. A funny moment between the two up and coming sports people. And now when you can ask Djokovic, how many trophies have you got in Ole? Five. What a great photo of Djokovic here. An absolute great of the game. What a guy. What a goat. Nice watch as well there. Wearing the Hublot, Hublot watch. And... It's a great night for Djokovic, his first silverware for the year, isn't it? So we'll see if that continues on in Rome. Hopefully it will. A great night for Djokovic. Moving on, there was a cool moment, a touching moment between Carlos Alcaraz, arguably the future of tennis, and Djokovic. The current or the past, or current and past and future of tennis are coming together of the stars. They seem to be meeting a lot on the red carpet of these sorts of events. It's a nice touching moment. Let's have a look. Complimenting each other on, on the suits. <laughs> a nice moment there. However, what wasn't <laughs> oh, a funny moment was this. And of course, I'm sure Nadal didn't mean it. But when Djokovic was receiving the award from his great friend Tom Brady, who was actually there to present the award to Novak Djokovic, Tom Brady said that Djokovic mentioned that he has not done yet, to which the camera, I might mute it for this time, for copyright reasons, the camera pans to Rafael Nadal. He's not the most enthused. Let's have a look in one moment. Not, not overly enthused, is he there? Perhaps he could have cracked a smile, but... It is what it is. Couple photos of Nadal from the night, not being overly pleased, but you know, some people have a resting face. And moving on to those who are interested in the NBA, I got some news for you. Wow, what a moment it was when Jokic's Nuggets, led by Jamal Murray tonight, hitting a game winner against LeBron James and Anthony Davis's Lakers to extend their series to a 2-0 lead. Currently on a 10-game win streak against the Lakers, and it was a big night for the Serbian. What a win. It was one of the greatest playoff basketball matches that I have personally seen in the last 5 to 10 years. A great night. An amazing photo of the game-winning buzzer beater. It's just a moment caught in time. That's the beauty of photography. LeBron was asked regarding Jamal Murray's game winner. He said, as soon as it left his hand, I already knew it was going in a cold game for him lebron james has a history or a meme it's a meme somewhat that he keeps saying that i knew it was going to happen he often says that he knows things are going to happen before they do and he probably does because it's a gift to be one of the greatest you have to have some sort of psychic abilities don't you moving on to i know there's a lot of fans for the other joker in world sport Jokic in this matchup put up a dominant triple double 27 points 20 rebounds and 10 assists an amazing game for Jokic. 
He keeps on just breaking the records of this game. He's bound to become a three-time MVP. Should be a four-time MVP. Let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see more basketball-related news. And most importantly, what do we think of Djokovic's Laureus Award? Does he deserve it? Will he win any more in his career? We'll see. How great was the NBA today as well? A bit more broad sports news today. A great day for sport. A great day for the Jokers. Until next time.